Robinson, uh, you write about you write about this Trump wing of the Republican Party, which right now is the actual base of the Republican Party, and it is all out in the open. Revenge uh, replaces uh, working for the American people. Violence replaces uh, the support for a peaceful transition. Sedition um, uh, replaces um, uh, democracy. Uh, and, and I, I keep talking about how it's so shocking that they're saying this all in the open. You have conservative, so-called conservative thought leaders that are now openly saying that Western democracy does not work. Liberal mm -hmm. democracy does not work. They choose the illiberalism of Italy, the illiberalism of Hungary, the illiberalism of Russia, and it's all about exacting revenge on your opponents instead of doing what's best for your constituents. Yeah, it absolutely is. It's 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 what happens when a a criminal organization achieves power, seizes power in the United States. I mean, maybe we're lucky that it that it never happened in the 200 plus years before this. But how do you distinguish Trump and the people around him from? A, a criminal organization. Are they more criminal or more authoritarian? It's hard to, you know, it's hard to pick. You can go either way on on a given day. Um, and, and so now we're facing the midterms and we're looking at the prospect, you know, well, what happens if Republicans do manage to take the House? I think it's just all revenge all the time. That's their own. They have no plan for governing and they have no interest really in, in governing. It's it, it will all be about uh, a Revenge for um, you know he, he Trump got impeached so let's impeach Biden I mean that'll be the ultimate but um, uh, dragging uh, Biden cabinet members up uh, before hearings Benghazi 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 only it'll be something else um, this that's what's happened to the Republican Party it is it is shocking um, a, a shocking example of devolution uh, into um, you know again. What's, what's essentially a criminal slash authoritarian organization? Yeah, and, and you know they'll be they'll be the first to admit it when when again when they talk about how Western democracy doesn't work, liberal democracy doesn't work, they'll be the first to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, which again, they're admitting the quiet part out loud as Donald Trump has always done. Uh, Michael Steele, listening to Gene Robinson, I'm just struck by the fact that. We all get on TV and we talk about what's happening in the midterms, of course, because of the history, historical trends in midterm elections. We're sort of grading on a curve going Democrats mm -hmm. may take control or, or may gain a few seats in the Senate. Of course, they'll lose the House, may not lose the House by as much as. But just stop right there. As you know, as Gene's talking about, if Republicans take control of the House by one vote, then the, the, this, this exacting of revenge that they're now openly stating, we're not going to govern, we're going, we're going mm -hmm. to, to use any power we have to exact political revenge on our opponents because they won an election two years ago. That becomes the new reality. It becomes the reality for two years. No, listen, it's going to be bad for America over the next two years, of course, if you look over the rise, and it'll be horrible for whatever Republican candidate is running in 2024. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but the biggest nightmare for Ron DeSantis, if he runs in 2024, would be Republicans taking control of the House and behaving this way, because it'll turn off the middle. Uh, but let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. We'd have that constitutional crisis on our hands over the next two years. Uh, if they got in and decided to start moving forward with undemocratic, uh, you know, legislation or 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 uh, we're just openly destructive the way they're talking about being right now. Well, so so you 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 made I guess I use the word assumption. Um, will it turn off the middle? I don't know. I, I think that's the test mm. of this election. I mean, look, the, the Republican Party is telling you what we're all about. You've got, you know, Stefanik, you've got 
uh, McCarthy. You got all these folks out here saying, uh, you know, we're we're about um, an agenda that involves investigation of Hunter Biden. You've got, um, you know, clarity on if we get the power back, we're going to impeach uh, uh, Biden. That is that's a declarative statement. It's not a well, we'll think about it. Maybe we will. No, it's, no, we're going to do that. So I, I get it. Everybody is sort of wringing their hands about the Biden administration and inflation and the gas prices. But then they look across the aisle and they see a, a group of thugs who are sitting there saying, we want to further sow anti-democratic, um, uh, an anti-democratic agenda. We're not, we're not laying out a governing strategy. We're laying out a retributive stat, uh, strategy. We're laying out the owning the lib strategy. Um, and so you're right. It does make it a little bit squirrely for 2024, but my attitude is if the American people, when they're told up front that we've got no plan except to own the libs and, and to take down Biden through uh, an impeachment process, then they've basically said that's okay if they give them that one seat. So this is, you know, I don't know how much the middle or anybody else is concerned if they go to the polls saying, oh my God, inflation, I'd rather have an anti-democratic uh, Republican party in power than a guy who is at least trying to manage however half-heartedly an economy that I supposedly am concerned about. Um, it, it makes no sense to me. The, the American people have to reconcile themselves about the kind, you, you, you referred to this a little bit earlier, Joe, about the kind of leaders they want to lead them because these leaders are an extension of us. They represent us. And so when they go out and they show their behinds, as my mama used to say, they're showing our behinds. We're, we're a part of that. So we may sit there and talk about, you know, what the Italians are doing. Well, we're not that much better. We're not that much far removed if this is the path we want to go down, when we have it staring in our faces from the reports out of January 6th, the evidence coming out of Georgia and elsewhere, that this is an anti-democratic process that has been unfolding in front of our eyes, Joe. And, and so the question to, the, to that middle that you referred to is, are you down with that? That's what you want? Because that's what you're going to get. <laughs> I mean, nothing's yeah. I mean, it's not going to be any different. So yeah, I understand what you're saying about the middle. But this is in their hands come November, and if they give the power back to a party that has no agenda, that wants to impeach the president and go down that road, then don't complain about what happens between you know 23 and 24.